So, what's the difference between a regular infection and an MDRO? Multidrug resistant organisms, abbreviated MDRO, are a type of bacteria that traditional antibiotics are no longer effective in killing or controlling. You may also hear the term superbug, which is synonymous with MDRO. For the purposes of this course, we will be using the term MDRO. Bacteria are living, single-cell organisms that can only be seen with a microscope. They live in the soil, water, and on plants and animals. In humans, many different types of bacteria are normally present all over our body, such as on our skin, inside of our mouth, stomach and intestine, but not in the blood or spinal fluid. Much of the time, these bacteria are perfectly harmless and coexist peacefully with surrounding organisms. These are good bacteria, scientifically termed normal flora. But sometimes, in a vulnerable environment, like an open wound, bacteria can grow out of control and cause harm. In people and animals, overgrowth or imbalance of bacteria can result in an infection. Bacterial infections have been treated with antibiotics since the 1940s, when a Scottish scientist named Alexander Fleming created penicillin, the very first antibiotic. Today, there are many types of antibiotics that target specific bacteria. Over time, as bacteria were exposed to penicillin and other antibiotics, some bacteria became smart enough to change their DNA structure, allowing them to survive against antibiotics, and thus narrowing the choices of antibiotics that would work to cure the infections. MDROs are resistant to almost all antibiotics, and they are continually finding new ways to mutate and outsmart the antibiotics that do work. When someone is infected with an MDRO, there are very few antibiotics that are effective in treating the infection. In extreme cases, the infection can spread to other regions of the body and could be fatal. MDRO infections are also highly contagious. That is why MDROs are so problematic. The conditions in long-term care facilities are especially easy for MDROs to live and multiply in. Let's investigate why. 